Hello, everybody. It's me and Maya today bringing you a closet tour. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm very happy that I have a nice big closet at this place. So that's nice and chill. Um, show you the outfit I got on right now. The, this is the first shirt, first uh, closet item. Slow traffic, keep right, Nike. It's a Nike lab shirt, and then we got Thomas and Illusions. So fire. So fire. Um, basically, I'm just going to be going through my closet, talking about all my items to tell you about them a little bit, and maybe why I cop them, maybe stories, maybe just explaining it, why I like it. Yeah, so here's my closet tour. Let's jump right into it. So the first, we'll start off with the sweater side. Slide it open. Kind of annoying with the sliding because I kind of fuck up my posters, but oh well, it is like Walmart posters. And I'll say in 0 0.5. Hopefully it doesn't pause a bunch. And you can see the sweater section here. We'll start with the sweaters and we'll work our way all the way down. So when I was organizing, I organized it from the other way. So I'm gonna Push it all. Oh my gosh, did the hair just explode out? My hair, that's the one thing. That's why I keep like everything in my closet because you can't leave anything out with having a doll ground because it'll get hair on it. Um, okay, so yeah, let's jump right into it. I'll start from the top and then we'll work our way. So, actually, yeah, okay, okay, we're, I'll do that. We got Nike, the, just the solo fleece check pants here. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. The classic solo check fleece pants. I got like every color. I got had like a bunch. Oh, like I, I think I have like three or four color for the outfits of these ones. This one kind of sucks since the color like stains so easy, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, you worked at the outlet mall, so I'll get them super cheap, especially with like staff outfit getting like fifty percent off and stuff. You know, that's what you gotta do. Gotta get the good cops. So that's what I was always doing. I bought so much when I was at the outlet. That's why I have so much like Nike and like, all, like I wouldn't have bought these otherwise if I didn't get them so cheap because it is like a rip off. It's not even like, especially the fit of them. Long story. Um, I guess I'll talk about it now too. So like the fit of everything in like the factory store is so trash. I think they tried to make it like more unisex because it got worse and worse over the years. Got more tighter, more like, more like smaller um less good quality falls apart way easier like everything just like this is terrible quality like all that this one's like not the worst this is better this is closer to like the like i bought one when i started and it was like really nice it was like decent nike quality and then ever since then it just like went down i even like stopped buying it at one point i was like because i wanted to collect all the colors but i was like no way like especially for the solo check it really it just like does not fit whereas something like the actual club fleece with like the full check these fit a lot better because it's like more higher quality um those are like the ones that they sell more at like the full price kind of thing they wouldn't like put those on out like really maybe like rare or like a certain like shitty color see like this one i got at the outlet you can see like it's just like kind of like a shitty color but i like it it's like a like this pastel green color remember like i even got a compliment at work one day for it someone actually really liked it um yeah, see, these are a bit better quality than, like, the solo fleece, the solo check fleece, which is, like, crazy tight, not good, falls apart in two seconds. Like, this shit won't even last you a year. I do not buy it. Like, not worth it. Then underneath those, I got, like, this puke tie-dye, just, like, uh, Nike pant. Then I got the solo swoosh gray. That was, like, the one that I bought, the first one that I was actually, like, fit me in normally. Um... I guess I'll take them down for you to look at. Oh, jeez. It's gonna be a mess for this video. So, this puke camo colorway, that's what I call it. It's not actually called that. It was just like something we got at the outlet. They're just like, see, it's just like a printed graphic Nike. And then it's just like a loose sweatpant. I don't really know the whole deal with these. Maybe it was like a factory here and then just decided to dye it. I guess it was green at one point. I don't know. I don't know. I still have the sweater for it right there. So then I got, ugh, these are a different Nike pant also. 
<clears throat> I thought they were gonna be reflective, but it's not really. It's kind of like this cheap, crappy reflective kind of thing. Like it is reflective, just like this cheap, weird, like sparkly. And then we got these like drawstrings. And I have the sweater for this um, right here also. Then I got the solo swoosh black, solo swoosh green. We move over to the side here. I got some champion. So these are just all class, oh, well, not all classic champion. So I got a classic champion black, cha classic champion white. I had to put these up here because it took up too much space. Then there's this script champion, like it has an embroidered, I really love this color purple. My mom actually got me this one for Christmas one year. She got me like the two, my two favorite champion sweaters of all time. Um, yeah, it's a really nice, super nice embroidery champion sweater script and then another classic just like the white classic i mean just like the solo uh champion logo and then i have a yellow one of that too um over here kind of like more miscellaneous shit that i don't really wear anymore it's like this velvet stussy hoodie but it doesn't like it's really weird it doesn't have like a kangaroo pocket or anything and it like it's super tight Stussy's weird fitting. This random Walmart sweater I tie dyed. A champion plaid sweater. I have the full fit for this. This is a fire fit, but the pants are like kind of too small now, so I'm probably gonna sell it. This is like fucking OG. This was my favorite crew neck of all time in high school. It lasted me since I was like 11 or 12. Like this is like, so, like it definitely is beat, but I've worn it so much and I really took care of it. It's got like this box logo, Obey and this tiger camel. Like I saw it immediately and fell in love with it. And luckily I think I was like with my dad and he's really like, oh sure. And I got it. It was so expensive too though. And it was like, it was just something I saw right away and I just needed it. And it was just like my, one of my all time favorite things. I always like wore crew necks in high school. I don't know why I was like into crew necks. Kind of fell off with that. I had more into hoodies now, like wearing a hoodie and a hat and kind of shit like that. But it's like OG o Obey stuff. Cause I was like kind of on that like Obey trend when it started, like Tumblr kind of put that on for Obey. So I was kind of on it since the beginning. So Obey was kind of my stuff for high school. But this like lasted me so long. Such a beautiful cop. Really love this one. Um, God, so I'm making a mess. I got a Huff burgundy zip up. This one's cool just because the gray, like the gold, the brass like zipper, and then it's got really, really long drawstrings. And I got a hippie poncho. Th what is this called? I forget. The I actually know the name of it, but I'm blanking on it now. Sorry. We go down. We've got solo shoes white, solo swoosh red, the puke thing I was talking about, solo shoes gray, solo shoes black. So you can see I got a lot of complete solo shoes out. Solo swoosh club fleece. Solo swoosh is just like fleece outfits. We move over here, I got the the club, like the full. So I got this one at this hanger actually, but I think someone like returned it super used. That was another story. Like this thing reeked like perfume for days like, and it was like so used. Like the, pe the people who work out fucking that outlet I worked out were literally retarded. Like the managers, they just like, or like the people, even the staff there too, they literally just like took anything sometimes. And then like, oh, I would go to like try and return something and they would complain about it. And it would be like, oh, like one day pass or like I didn't have the receipt. But then they take like crap like this. It was literally so used. Like you could tell it's been washed like 40 times. Like smell like pure, pure perfume. Anyways, yeah, I got it anyways. I'll just like, whatever, I'll get it cheap to complete the fit. Cause I had the pants already. Here's like the sweater for a lot of like weird, cheap, reflective shit. Also from the outlet. This is the solo swoosh blue. So actually this is the solo swoosh black. And then I got solo swoosh green. So I got so many colors for the full outfits. This is like a, I should have returned this. I I've, think I've worn it one time. And I didn't even wash it after this still stain on it. Like this like piece kind of like split hoodie. I think I only paid like 20 bucks or less for it, or like 15 bucks or like something cheap. It's still kind of cool, I guess, but yeah, you know, it does the trick. Wear it eventually, just like one of those kind of sweaters a beater, beater sweater, something you don't have to worry about. Um, so yeah, the solo swoosh again. Go over here. When we started, we used to get these staff fits. So like I got this sweater for free. It's just like a black running zip up Nike. And then these are my favorite that we'd get at the Tanger. So it's kind of like more like a terry cloth, like more like co pure cotton instead of like that fucking nylon shit. So it's like an actual like cotton zip up with a, 
Everyone says they don't like the zipper, like the, the silver zipper, but I actually really like it. And I've had the black one. I got the black one like at least three times by now and it's gotten taken by girls. So that sucks. But yeah, these are really comfy, especially like the re like the actual, like more cotton one. It's better quality. This is super fire. Like I really like this one compared to the other ones and it looks better too. Like it looks more loose fit. Just looks proper. It actually looks like good quality. Right, Maya? It's actually good quality. That's what it's all about, that quality. So I actually really like these ones more. Happy with these ones. Um, like literally the last one I had, I literally lent it to this girl because it was like raining, she was crying. I went and like picked her up to hang out and then she just like started, she was crying about like being stressed out and literally it was like, oh, sorry, I was a dream roll. Literally it was like, oh, I just, I just need to go home. So I was like offered her a ride home and the sweater since it was raining and cold and all this and then yeah just shitty times when did i lose it the first time who took it i don't even remember i actually can't remember anymore who took it the first time that's uh it'll probably pop into my head eventually i got this like tech pack sweater like tech fleece but it's tech pack and like this white pretty it's like pretty nice except it doesn't fit proper like the sleeves are all fucked it's like really like it's like so tight on the sleeves and it's like really fuck fitting i think because of this like crazy like stitching kind of funkiness that they tried to do to it it's really cool really nice like high quality and all that but i guess they just like something more like new so i guess it like they kind of got the fitting wrong for it it was even in medium and it still fits all fucky then i got some classic tech fleece i got the full oh excuse me because i just chugged my red bull i have this full like salmon kind of like pa uh patrick the star kind of suit it's actually fire this pink uh tech fleece outfit then i got like this winter camo lebron kind of hood uh zip up i haven't really worn this much but i can definitely mix match it with some outfits like because i got some orange shoes and orange jacket and stuff it was still expensive i don't know why i bought this but it's, i guess like for quality it's still kind of fire like i wanted some zip ups so you know i'm gonna mix match that get it going and nike lebron um that's all i'll cover for the top until i like switch over and then i'll cover that shit in a sec actually i'll just go through it right now i have an sb nike sb hoodie this one's like one of my favorites it was like super stained up i've worn it like so much because i love this blue i got that at the outlet too that was like a fire cop i got there actually fits good all that weird thing about a weird thing i found about the, like the nike sb is there's like a super tiny pocket in the kangaroo uh in the kangaroo pocket there's like an extra super mini pocket in there, which is really fucking weird. Probably because like SB put like weed in there or something. Like what else are you gonna put in there? Like a couple, some change? Like well, what's a skater gonna put in the super mini hidden pocket? You know, it's pretty pretty sick. Got this pink terry cloth. Really love this one. It's like pink, like neon terry cloth Jordan hoodie. Love this one. I've worn this one so much. I forget how it got ripped. I don't know if that was in a fight with like some shitty roommate it had i'll tell uh, stories will come about that on my channel don't worry or like i don't know it ripped but it's so fire it's just like super nice loose fitting terry cloth like this neon like the pink is so beautiful i love that pink got another sb1 this one fits really weird for some reason because you know the outlet their shit's fucked like literally like all the different like sides even if it's the same item like it'll be like or the same like brand or the same like style it'll still be like different fitting or like the factory literally just like fucks it up i guess i don't know but like so this sb1 kind of fits a bit fucky especially on the torso it's like long and then i got this really cool this one that was a good cop from the outlet more like early on see like most of this, the nice stuff i got was really early on really, like before it got fucked by like i don't even know what the market i guess it's got like an embroidered full nike check um this like white zipper large it's like this beautiful blue this one saved me i had like this cyst on my neck another story like so many stories to tell i had this crazy fucking cyst on my neck and fucking fourth year university and it was terrible and it was like so big it was like the size it was like a, literally a second head on my neck and i wore this for like pretty much that whole duration but yeah like that sucked but this thing kind of saved me uh, for that and it's got this really cool like pink and it's like got a kangaroo on the top and here so it's like a double kangaroo pocket it like doesn't connect so it's like two separate pockets you know it's really sick i love this like patchwork design and then it's like full blue all the way on the back like i love this is one of my favorites probably definitely a fire one and the 
I don't have any turtlenecks, so like it's it's a cute it's a cute look for me, you know, to zip it up and look all like bundled up and cute. Okay, let's start the bottom. So, whew, I'm like sweating. Okay, Ugh. this green mint green dyed champion sweater my mom actually got for me one christmas so this is like one of my probably my favorite champion sweater one of my favorite sweaters of all time it's like the comfiest one too like i don't know why maybe it was like the dyeing process for this one but this is like super high quality beautiful such a nice color my mom got me this one it was like probably one of my best champion sweaters so far i love it like it fits nice too it's like oversized but it's like i don't know something about champion it kind of like shrinks and gets all weird over time after you wash it but this one like really kept its like original good quality form and all that i really like that one a lot gotta take off my slides i'm too hot we got a red red just classic champion i think i caught that i think or she got it for me for christmas maybe then a blue champion i got that recently so i haven't worn it then a script champion my mom got me that i think as well oh no i got that one and then this one i just found on amazon just like a cool comfy not like the it's not a reverse weave but it's just like a i don't know what they call it but it's a champion hoodie and it's i just like the color like the blue and then like the off-white color mixed together the blue and off-white is ooh, super fire next item is a billy eilish tour sweater it has like her signature ghost designs so fire like this is probably one of my favorite hoodies also it's got like all the dates so i went saw her in toronto and there's like so many stories with this hoodie so like on this tour i didn't even, it was just supposed to be just her in toronto but then because denzel was like on all, a bunch of other dates but not this one and then just by surprise when i was there like when we were there there's like oh yeah denzel's gonna be there and luckily we showed up early so we went and saw denzel and it was so fire even got the blush there like this is such a fire hoodie such cool designs such an amazing concert so even like i bought it in a small from once uh one like because it was after the concert everyone's like rushing to the tents to try and get some merch and shit like that such nice designs um everyone was rushing to the tents to try and get merch and stuff like that um so yeah we we're at this one tent i buy they only had a small so i'm like okay fine i'll get the small and then i like put it on after like we leave after like we leave the line and stuff and i'm like this is so tiny like i hate i'm so mad i'm not even gonna be able to wear this and stuff i'm trying to show what you can't it's kind of it's so faded now um oh no loose thread that's not good ah and then the drawstrings oh i love the color too like it's bright yellow it's so nice and so i was like F this is so sad i was like literally about to cry i'm like this is terrible i don't even want this hoodie i was like throw some garbage but guess what i went to wait in another long ass line it's got stands all over i waited in another long ass line and then i was like can i please 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 exchange we're like uh they're like uh we don't really do that i'm like please i just went and bought this over there and then they're like okay fine just because we said over there we didn't have it and this place had an xl so i got the xl and it's like the comfiest oversized perfect thing ever especially like billy eilish style is oversized so you should buy it oversized anyways if you're buying something from billy eilish so xl works so freaking perfect comfiest thing ever such such amazing piece such oh, i'm so happy i still have this i love it and crazy story so i went over to this girl's house one time i met on tinder just for like a little session chill she wasn't really into anything like that just friends you know and freaking forget it there this girl's like kind of i'm not gonna say like crazy because that's rude that's like um can't, that's like not a good word to say like she was a bit like going through a lot of stuff in life that's the per like i'm crazy and i would put that as crazy because i'm crazy but let's just say oh yeah we're going through a lot of stuff in life so she was going through a lot of stuff in life then ended up moving all this shit like crazy shit like because she, she was going through so much we couldn't link and i like just never ended up going to get it she was and then like she moved away to this farm i didn't talk te uh text her for like weeks or months later and then she's like oh yeah like i'm actually gonna like send i feel super bad about it i'm gonna like mail you your hoodie and all this um she's like oh yeah i'll just like give me your address and blah blah and i'll mail it in a couple days and then i never heard from her for like months and months and months and one day i'm like at five guys like getting some burgers and then i see this girl like walking around the back and i was like whoa i recognize her and i asked the person i'm like ordering from I'm like yo was that like this this blank's name and i'm like she's like yeah that, that's her uh, she 
And I'm like, she's like, oh, like, why? And I'm like, oh, like, I know her. And she's like, oh, yeah, like, she knows a lot of people. <laughs> and, and this is, like, across the city, too. So, like, I'm so surprised about this. And I'm like, I, like, talk. I'm like, yeah, can you, like, ask her if I can talk to her for a sec? And I, like, talk to her. And I'm like, yo, do you remember me? She's like, oh, jeez. And she's like, I still have your hoodie. I put it on a husky on my um, stuffed husky. And it's been there the whole time. Like, I've been meaning to get it back to you. I'm so sorry. And it's been, like, two years or some shit. Like, such a long time. And I ended up getting a hus I have a husky. I've had a husky for two years also. So like I've had my husky. It's such a crazy coincidence. Yeah, I got it back for her. She's a homie now too. All good. Crazy times. So yeah, long story for that one. Definitely. Wow. And then here we go. Another I short I'll make it short. I'll make it quick. Nelk boys first. Yeah, because fuck Nelk boys now. Like they're kinda of, they're gone. I don't care about them. But First ever merch from Nelk Boys back when I was into them, back when they were on their shit. So that's fire. First ever Nelk Boys merch. That's a fire piece. I got this uh, brand new North Face, super tiny little logo hoodie. It was in XL, it was on sale in some skate shop. You can go see the unboxing for that. Really nice, really comfortable. Haven't worn it yet though. Or have I? Did I wear it? No, I haven't. Um, let's see, but yeah, nice cop North Face. I've just been getting into North Face recently. Then here's the solo swoosh. Here's the, a club, a yellow one. We got the pastel one I was talking about. A gray swoosh. I have a full fit for that. White swoosh. Still has the tags. I haven't even freaking worn it. Um, brown. I love this one. This is like my. I call it like the coffee outfit like the iced coffee outfit whenever i wear this the nice brown then i got a pink club i got a red club i got a navy blue club i had more clubs before but another long story like some old roommates i had a bag an entire gar black garbage you know like the big black garbage bags i had an entire big black garbage bag full of all my laundry for like two weeks all my clothes and that ended up getting tossed out super sad because someone thought it was garbage or something but i was like it's because i forgot it. i was trying to bring it to my girlfriend to do laundry because like i just hated doing long laundry there because the guy literally would like punch me in the face over laundry like such a long story but yeah a bunch of my stuff got thrown out super sad i'll make a video about that in the future then i got this new this one's also brand new i got this on sale on like uh scents i think for one of my hauls you can check that out pampalona colorway this nice Jordan hoodie got from Normal. This is also in one of my very early hauls, I think, actually. So you could check that out. Really nice. It's like the Jordan Mountain hoodie. I got this. We had a code to use online once ever at the Nike. They gave us a code for like boxing from like working hard boxing there or some shit. So I got like a bunch of clothes. This was one of them. This like blue Jordan hoodie. I haven't really worn it much. This is like one of my favorites. I have this uh 20 i think it's 2020 edition or 2021 it's like one of the newer ones tech fleece full, i have the full fit for this and it's like the reason i bought it is because it's like this like wa it's like this dyed process like pigment dyed washed look and i really love it fits nice too like the newer ones are more looser less like tight and weird kind of like the older ones this is like an older one like this is probably like 2019 or something god this video is gonna turn out to be so freaking long okay moving on Finally, the middle section, part two. I'm gonna have to make freaking three videos for this. I don't even know, man. Ah, I got the juice roll, death race for love, came with the vinyl. Okay, so we got some Air Forces up here. Um, two toasty Air Forces, gonna be doing a review on those soon. I might buy another toasty item, so we'll see about that. There's some toasty dunks, Hirachis, I did a bit on that, and some Air Max 90s. These are my first pair of 90s, maybe? I forget the full price which was a mistake because they ended up coming to the outlet and i could have got them like half off but oh well you live and you learn over here oh yeah we got pants over here i got a pair of nike running pants this was also part of like the staff outfit for got for free here's the tech the wash tech fleece pants i have some orange tech fleece pants here's the pink tech fleece pants and i have the gray tech pack pants which are actually like really comfy everyone's like oh they look like pajamas but i think they look dope and they're super comfy like it looks good with like a black hoodie or some shit super fire um let's continue so we got the move to zero hoodies i did uh this was in one of my most recent hauls it still has the tags on it because of course i'm gonna be wearing freaking sweaters in this 30 degree weather like i'm so hot right now here's another move to zero the black one i think that was in one of my first hauls and then this one i got from the outlet a nice orange move to zero 
here's talking turps this is my first ever recorded or not recorded but first ever uploaded video i re-uploaded it so it's technically my second video on youtube i did it's unbox like a try on unboxing for this talking turp sweater super fire we got a flapper zombies sweater which is in one of my flapper zombie unboxings one of my favorite pieces so fire acg got this full outfit it's in one of my hauls also so go check that out it was from sense one of my sense hauls super fire this one i didn't do a video on but it's also brand new i should have made a video on it maybe i will still do a cop video just on this item and because like now i got the full fit because you can see i checked got the pants in one of my sense hauls so that's super fire and super excited for that and of course i got the medium because acg is huge you see the tags on still and glow in the dark hoodie so fire super excited to wear that the full glow in the dark fit i have some like glow in the dark skeleton air forces that are gonna be so fire with that um acg hoodie in mustard yellow this was like my first acg hoodie i think i just randomly copped it for uh boxing day i think like 40 off medium of course because the large is huge medium is like my fit for the acg acg is really weird fitting just because it's like qu quality and like different materials and like different f making and all the fabrications and stuff like that so it's very different embroidered but it's like super woo, super amazing quality like if you're looking for just like um like utility like just amazing quality stuff like i this was one of my first acg hoodies and i'm so happy with it it's really put me on acg got the zip up pockets Oh my god, one of my masks are in here. Nice. Because I, I lost some, so I was wondering where the heck they were. In pockets, of course. So yeah, and then this was on sale. I'm so dumb. I bought a medium, and then I was like, oh wait, I actually want a large. That's I wanted to try a large. So I returned it. I paid money to return it because I had to pay for the return and got a large, even though like the large is way too gigantic and I actually would have preferred the medium. But still, it, it, it's still, like a nice, like loose, cozy fit. And then I can dry it if I want and like all that stuff. So it's still a super fire cop. I need to change the hanger on this. I'll put the wooden one on. Okay, put the new hanger on. So there we go, more stabilized. Next, Patagonia, this hemp crew neck, so fire. Got like this sleeve over here. I call this the joint pocket. Cause what else are you gonna put in this long pocket? That's a joint pocket. Super fire. Um, got these hemp Patagonia hoodies, which are really interesting. They're like very thin fitting, but they're still really warm, um, loose too. Like, but then the medium was like super tight, so it's like really weird. And then I got these thrifts. You can check out these thrifts and. A thrift haul I did. I got a Supreme thrift haul. I got all these. I got these Supreme, uh, these two, and then some other ones down there. Supreme sweaters, and here we go. A fire cause North Face sweater. Sadly, there was only medium left whenever I purchased this. So, and I don't know why, but this one is like much. Come on, get get the tag in there. Ugh, what is happening? Yeah, you can see it. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know why, but the freaking medium is so tight. And then, like, even though the medium pants are gigantic, so, oh, well, it still fits, though, so I don't care. This was in one of my recent hauls, this beautiful knit Stussy sweater. I wanted the purple Supreme one, but it sold out. So sad. Like, the same, like, kind of knit design. Then, this is one of my oldest pieces, like not oldest but like one of my older pieces this tommy hill figure my mom got me this for christmas i think a nice like patch crew neck i usually wear this with like um like a dress shirt poking out because from the top because it looks very like formal very like british you know um but yeah i just love like the patchwork to make the not the patch or like yeah like the patch whatever <laughs> the cross work to make the tommy hill figure logo out of the whole sweater like it's super fire love this piece